Wake up and smell the roses or perhaps the John Quill in this week's Next to Nature Winston and Dr. John Long goes sniffing around the heavily perfumed plant. The common phrase is wake up and smell the roses, but today we're smelling the John Quills. This is Next to Nature. Dr. Long, uh, the first characteristic that comes to mind when I think of John Quills is its smell and the fact that it's used for perfumes. Right. Uh, nothing reminds me of spring anymore than the John Quill. And they, it's almost like it's just your entrance to spring. Uh, very aromatic flower. Uh, I remember distinctly having bouquets of it in our house and it just the aroma is so strong mm -hmm. and so pleasing. Uh, it's actually from the Mediterranean. Uh, is where it comes from, but it's kind of uh, accepted that it is a native flower now. It has value, like you said, from the oil that comes out of the flower uh, for the making of perfume. Um, and actually, the flowers back here look oily. Right. right? Uh, we had a rain this morning early, and you'll see this flower uh, bent over like that. And a lot of times, that's what happens. You know, they get bent over, but when they stand up, they're very uh, easy to uh, identify. Mm -hmm. And usually where you see one John Quill, you're gonna see a lot of them. Mm -hmm. A lot of people mistake them for daffodils or call them daffodils, but they're, they're actually not. Um, they share common characteristics as far as uh, the flower itself, but they are not a daffodil. A daffodil is not as aromatic. It does have a smell, but it's not as right. aromatic as the John Quill. And perhaps it's also, uh, confused with a black-eyed Susan. It could be, yeah. One of the, of course, we look at the black-eyed Susan and we know it has that dark shape in mm -hmm. the middle, but yes, the coloration is definitely similar. Does it attract uh, bugs, insects? Yes, very much so. That nectar is very valuable to all, you know, insects that, that are nectar feeders. It's just a, a really cool flower to look at, but it does provide uh, uh, sustenance for wildlife. Probably your most potent flower in your garden this is Next to Nature. We'll see you next time.